right, here is the former undisputed UFC welterweight champion and still one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. What do you think his approach is going to be here tonight? Because we love the jab, the striking has evolved, but we all know what his bread and butter is. No, his bread and butter is his wrestling. I think the only thing I can point to is that he lost the first fight of his career. Then he went on that tremendous run to become the welterweight champion and widely regarded the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. That was his bounce back. Tonight he has to do that again. He's got to go back to that mindset that allowed for him as a young fighter to tie George St. Pierre's record for most wins in the welterweight division. That starts tonight. And ultimately he's hoping that leads to another reign to top the welterweight division. And there have been rumblings about some injuries, maybe a knee, his hand. He says he's healthy. We'll see how it goes for Kamal Usman getting back on the proving ground here tonight. Good chin on the other side. Will he be able to get that knockout? Certainly going to go for it here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, early round action here. Kamar Usman's wrestling is next level. His MMA wrestling, super functional. But he believes that the jab is going to be the key here tonight. Obviously, he has got a great lengths to develop that under Trevor Whitman. And he felt like he might actually be able to win this fight without securing a single takedown. We shall see. <laughs> going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. There it is, now he's going to mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh! Massive shot lands, it's over John, fight's done. Back to his feet. All right, so there it is, they immediately go into the punch situation. The wrestler said he wanted to make it dirty against this boxer. And this is a good spot for him to be in. I think that even though he wanted to be in the punch, he's got to be very aware of the punches in tight coming back from the boxer. 
He's got to be level changing. He's got to be tripping. He's got to make this boxer feel like he's on the defensive. Or that guy's going to get comfortable, rolling his shoulders, and landing some nice tight punches from in close. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. What a kick. That will land Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the way. And makes his head a takedown. Why not? Elbow, lead elbow, yes. He passes to half guard. Now he's going full mount. And he's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Oh, nice. Great job landing from the top position. The Korean Superboy getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Usman's right back to the full mount. Uh -huh. Horns out for the end of round one. Stop, All right, there's the stop. end of the round, and what a five minutes it was for him. Rocked and stunned his opponent multiple times, and... I don't know, did his opponent just say uncle on the stool, or is he going to fight on? I mean, he may say uncle. When you're getting beat and battered and bruised like that, it's a testament to your toughness. But it's not ideal. You want to be competitive. That round was not competitive at all. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, he's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Usman gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Beautiful kick there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. And there's the single. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Usman. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just misses with the left hook. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, sure, uppercut and clinched by the Korean Super Bowl. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. In the half guard. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position on real seat. 
All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to a hero? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific fight because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force than his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another fight. How about the accuracy land right there? His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Ten minutes in the camp. All right, so there's the horn. It's amazing to think we got here, given how many times he rocked his opponent there in the previous round. Almost looked like a glorified sparring session, given how dominant he was. Yeah, it just looked like one guy that was much better than the other guy. He was hurting him every time he landed. And it's a testament to his ability and his accuracy in the stand-up. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking it down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, right into Mo. Oh, he's got two spots. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Kamaru Luce. Oh, another strike lands from the top. I need you to scramble, scramble. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Massive elbow lands. He's got to be careful there, yep. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chor. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Lands with the ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, take a seat for me, bud. Deep breath into that nose. Relax. Okay, I need you to go out this round, and I need you to do better. You have to stay off your back. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. 
You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight schedule for the He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, and now an uppercut! Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show. If you get a guy hurt that bad, you cannot back off. You take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's gonna set it up again? I am certain. <laughs> shortage of options. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Usman's back to the side control now. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Nicely done. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, right in the mouth. position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. This is where you don't want to be, though. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Effective strike there by Choi. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing the volume to me. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean, kick. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stanzas you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now, it will be on him to try and stay patient, try to find the kill shot without overextending himself and putting himself in trouble. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his... Defense to block that punch. Usman gets it. Well played shot there, DC. He is officially won. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. In the half guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Joy. Oh, nice connection by him there, and that shot actually cut him open, champ. He was landing at a rate that was so high that 
but you knew that something has to change or you can start to see the damage. He opens up a cut on his opponent. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from his position. Usman's in half goal. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, and he's back up again. All right, so we go down the stretch. He is clearly losing. Oh! He's out! Dude, oh, joy! That has got to feel good! Holy smokes. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major 